Hej, hej. Good evening. Thoughts on the new Pokemon? Oh, I totally forgot that was today. I didn't look at it. Hold on. What did they announce? Pokemon Legends ZA? Is that the one? Yeah. Okay, then I'll check that out. I totally forgot about that today. Thanks, Resub Jealous. Did your YouTube stream get taken down? Yeah, it did, because of the music. So, can't do background music anymore. Is it tier one, Rick? And the resub skinny and calamitous. Yeah, that new glorb going hard. Thank you for the five gift subs, Nani. I wish they'd bring legends mechanics into the mainline instead of making new legends game. Yeah, I guess we'll see. I I haven't seen anything from it, so I'll check it out. I think they give sub two. Ooh, that's pretty interesting. Seven. I think they resub Dune. And membership Shoto. I think they resub Bell. And Momo. I wonder if TikTok reaction profiles will get hit for music at some point. Didn't UMG just pull their whole music catalog? So they probably will. Thanks to membership, Alexander. And the five perp. I have not watched Shogun yet, but I've heard amazing things. So I will watch Shogun. Thanks to Risa Avery. Resub Gamer. And the Resub OTP Detective and Tier 1 Optic. And the Prime Solo. Yeah, I know, I love Glorb's new song. Yeah, I know about that game. The Epstein Island game. Boy, that's crazy, Aaron. Jesus. This is pretty cute. So since this is an announcement trailer, I'm assuming they don't actually show any like real footage of the game, more just letting people know that it's coming. I appreciate that, thank you Majin. And the resub sab. And Jim Wolf. Looks like Midgar. Thanks, Resub Coda. No, I haven't heard of Opus Castle. Okay. Alright. 
Here's hoping it's good. Thanks for the membership, bruh. See the Willy Wonka theme park that left kids in tears because it was basically a meth lab? Why would kids be crying about that? Thanks for the membership, Brianna. Membership, Charlie. And thank you, Olsen. Willy Wonka meth lab sounds incredibly hype. What a fun amusement park. The Sonic build I made for Elden Ring is probably still my favorite. Thanks to Resabaticus. And I'm not sure next. I do like Ultra Kill though. Thanks to Resub Spoon. Yeah, maybe Game Freak will finally get it together and make a good Pokemon game. It's been a long time. That was one of them, Arrow. It was actually quite a few. And hey, Anthony. Thanks to the Resub Owls. Was Arceus not good? Arceus was a really good idea. I said it during the moist meter. I like that they finally tried a new idea, but it was so half-baked. They couldn't fully commit to it. Is it resub? Yeah. Yo, you know me. I'm sorry to hear that, Aaron. And thanks to resub, idiot. How do you feel about the Rocket League changes these days? Horrible. There's like one person left on the Rocket League esports team. They keep relocating the esports talent. Like the organizers. It's crazy. I don't know how it's still even functioning. Thanks for your sub chill. The story behind the Willy Wonka meth lab is kind of nutty. There's an article about it titled Willy Wonka Experience Ends in Tears as Police Called Out and Furious Families Demand Refunds. Thanks for the membership, sis. I'll look it up real quick before starting this then. Willy Wonka's immersive event leaves kids in tears. It looks like a meth lab. What was billed as an immersive experience seemingly inspired by Willy Wonka movies turned into the fire fest of unofficial movie tie-ins. What an incredible title. Well, that was super wholesome. Thank you for that, Tabby. And the tier one Oni. And your sub boss. And zombie. And feedback. Right here. A UK event company put together an immersive experience titled Willy's Chocolate Experience that promised to transport Willy Wonka fans into a magical realm. The attraction was not affiliated with the Warner Brothers oh, movie thank you Wonka, so much, Milky. though the event's marketing and of course I saw that. That was crazy, Milky. Thank you so much. It. But the whole thing turned out to be such an epic letdown. According to The Guardian, oh. customers who queued up found a sparsely decorated warehouse with a scattering of plastic props, a small bouncy castle, and some backdrops pinned against the wall. That's awesome. It was so bad, children were in tears, and some customers even called the cops. Photos from the event went viral. Oh, wait, what online. would you call the cops on? Hey, I'm at the Willy Wonka immersive experience, and I don't feel like I'm part of the Willy Wonka universe. Well, like, maybe false advertising? Hey, get over here ASAP. <laughs> we need the police. Thanks for the resub. Heck, and the Prime Mercy. <clears throat> and Mon, and the resub beef. What was promised to what was delivered. One user even compared the event oh, wow. to running a meth lab. The Guardian added that the event organizers refunded tickets, which were $44 a pop, and apologized for the very stressful and frustrating. I really like the way this event looks. It's like they threw it together last minute from whatever they could find at Party City. And then they AI generated some artwork to get hype around it. Nice. Day. Very for more cool. updates to the story, head to THR.com. And for the latest entertainment news and updates, keep watching them. Well, that'll do it. Yeah, the, the photos were very clearly AI. This was a SpongeBob episode. Which one?
They straight up pulled a Krabby Patty land or a Krabby Land. I don't remember that episode. Thanks, Reese of Hayden. When did they make a Krabby Land? And thank you, John. Hope you're having a good week. And no, I'm not. I'm not gonna moist me a new Demon Slayer movie. Apparently, it's just a recap with a single mini episode that's new. No point. I know that game, H Man. I haven't played it on stream though, but I do know it. Thanks the membership, Anthony. I'm gonna give sub Ganon. This one where Mr. Krabs scammed the kids and got fed that green stuff at the end. I just don't remember it. Thanks to tier one define. And appreciated elite. And nah, probably not changing the profile pick. Just gonna keep letting it rock. Neil Breen is pretty hype. He's the prime juice. And no, I did not see the buzzer beater. Looks like some kind of Outlast style game. God damn, Milky. Let's use some chance. I don't know if you're just memeing or not, man. I really can't tell, but I hope you're just kidding around. This looks like it could be interesting, but it just seems like it'll be boring. Thanks, membership, Bree. Looks like it's just gonna be walking around aimlessly forever. Probably not, Jay. I'd give Helldivers 2 like a strong 80, 85%. And I don't know what that is, Liam. That's the first I've heard of that project. <coughs> that game gave me nightmares. Which one? Thoughts on the AI scent machine? Oh, the gaming scent machine? Oh, I think that's an incredibly silly idea that I'm excited for. Thanks to Resub Leon. That is a very creative use of AI to pump fucking smells to you through your game. <clears throat> and I haven't played Harvester Caitlin, but I know it. Oh my god, Milky, Jesus Christ. Well, then I'm wishing you the absolute best, please. I hope you f hope you get like a professional and everything's okay. But for real, just just hang out, relax. You don't have to do any of that. Let's use some bojangles. A lot of dating sims here. Thanks, Risa Basterisk. And thank you for the five gift subs, Kaiser, and the ten gifted members, Arrow. Jesus, thank you. Appreciate that. And so many little top down games and dating sims here. February 27th was just full of these. 
can check out Pulse Day. Well, I'll see it on the new releases. Like some membership cosmic. Poppy Playtime is pretty fun overall, I'd say. Like, I don't hate Poppy's Playtime or anything. Even though I'm not deep in the lore or whatever. And thanks, dog. I don't know the voices game. Congrats on your promotion, silly. Thanks to Prime Ridge. Oh, here we go. Here's something a little wacky looking. No, we're just going through the Steam new releases for stinkers no one's ever played. This looks like it has potential. I can't quite tell what you do in the game, but it looks interesting. So it's like a Knives Out style game. Call of Karen. That sounds like just some meme shit post game. Let's try Nathan Morgan. Let's see how this goes. Seems like it could be fascinating. Let's see if I can put together the mystery. No, I don't really regret it, Hunter. It was worth a try. Here's the Prime Galligan. You see, Microsoft's AI is able to make video games. God bless. There are going to be so many bangers coming out. And yeah, I'll probably play that game when it comes out. Picaria. Is there some August? And yeah, I still play City of Heroes on the private servers as well. There we go. Let's see how this baby treats us. The deceased professor James Bennett returns early from a planned two-week business trip. Following his unplanned return, he becomes the victim of a murder for an unknown reason due to a well-known and beloved figure in the state. The district attorney contacts Nathan Morgan to solve the murder. Detective Morgan arrives at the crime scene and the events unfold. Thank you for the five gifted members. His fingers aren't even reaching the keyboard. You can't fool me, Nathan. Thanks, Reese Oliver. Hello. 
What? When uh, text to speech. Very nice. Okay. Uh, I will be there. Okay. Um, no one should touch anything until I come. What is going on with the blinds there? They're fucking freaking out. Is there some DeLorean and robot? There is a rip in the prime note. I highly doubt they got the rights to use this song. What song? It's completely silent. <laughs> the Sound of Silence? They, they didn't have the rights to just ambient nothingness? Thanks, Arisa Mason. Check your media player, bro. <laughs> yeah, that guy's just got, like... Some kind of UMG song playing right now. There's no way they got the rights to Kesha. Thanks for 10 gift subs, Ollie. I appreciate that. Three sub Rico. Good evening, officer. You must be Detective Nathan Morgan. I am. When has the murder been committed? According to the giving report, it has been committed at about 1 a.m. yesterday. 1 a.m. yesterday, huh? Okay. Who it Whoops. did it? Is there any information about how the murder took place? The deceased went on a planned business trip. I heard he returned early from this trip. Whatever happened, it must have occurred during this time. Was the murder committed inside the house? Yes, it happened at the stairs of the entrance. The cause of death is a gunshot wound. It's not really yet classic. I got it. But it will be soon. Okay. I need to go. Let me put on subtitles. If such a thing is possible. There we go. I'm coming in. Crime house. House of Professor James. Easy enough. Where were you at the time of the murder? Hello, Alicia. What is happening here? You must be the maid, Alicia. Okay, that was an interesting cutaway. Yes, sir. Um, you found the dead body, didn't you? Yes, sir. I did. Thanks, Reese Goblin and Kudo. Where were you at the time of incident? Oh well, sir. I was sleeping in my room. A likely story, Alicia. How long have you been working in this house? Almost. Ten years, sir. Hmm. Is there some Mike and give some agent? Are you contented with your work? Jesus Christ, Nathan. Did we not finish our schooling? What is... What in tarnation? Are you contented with your work? I don't think I'm contented quite. I'm employed hard labor. Fair enough, Alicia. Thank you so much for communicating with me. Something is dilemma I can't see. 
Both she complains about her job and she stays in the same place. Hmm. I need to find out the reason. M that's 99% of the world, I'll be honest with you, Nathan. Most people hate their jobs, but they can't leave because they need the money. I'm not super suspicious of that statement. I'm more concerned about her inability to communicate on, like, an adult level. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, sheet music. What does it all mean? What was he watching at the time of his murder? Okay, nothing in there that I can interact with. And who might you be? Bradley Bennett, huh? He looks so sad. Is he some snobby? He must be Bradley. Yes. Where were you at the time of incident? I was in my room, sleeping because it's late. That's exactly what Alicia said. Also, why are you looking so shifty there, Bradley? I've played L.A. Noir. I can pick up on those subtle changes in your facial expression. You're lying to me. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, David. Did you argue with your parents recently? That's what I was wondering. I don't argue so with them. Rose is the only one who is arguing with them. I even heard while she is threading. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Of course. Of course. Um, what is your profession? I'm unemployed. Thanks for your suburban prideful. Well, do you get along with your siblings? Like I said, I can't see them so much even though we live in the same house. Okay. Show me your report card from middle school. Um, uh, okay. I need to go. Goodbye, Bradley. You've given me a lot to think about. And whose titties might these be? It doesn't seem like it will be very useful for my work. Okay, I wouldn't write it off just yet. Perhaps a secret compartment. I appreciate it, Fate. And yeah, I couldn't find it, Fate. We looked everywhere. Oh. That must be the wife. Naturally. And who is this? Good evening, Rose. I just learned about you from Bradley. Hopefully soon meet Thanks Risa Obsidious. Must be Rose. Yes, so what? There's been a murder here, that's what that's so what. Where were you at the time of incident? I was in my room, speaking with my boyfriend. So what? Was your boyfriend? <laughs> There's no okay. need for him to be here to make me an orgasm. <laughs> Rose, you dirty harlot. What does that have to do with anything in my investigation? Also, what? You said you were in your room speaking to your boyfriend. Were you, so phone sex then? Peculiar. Very interesting. Do your parents know him? Yes, um, nobody loves him. They call him badass, but I love him so much. Everyone loves a badass. Does he wear sunglasses and smoke cigarettes? You said your parents are not on good terms with your boyfriend. Well then, do you get along with them? Um, all very fine with them. Good to hear. That makes me happy, Rose. Why do they regard him as a badass? Because he has a weird lifestyle. Okay. Can you explain a little further? What might that life lifestyle consist of? You're useless, Rose. Okay. Okay. What is your profession? I'm unemployed. Um, I'm developing game as a hobby. 
That's huge. I didn't see the new don't piece the new don't pee record. We're sub thirty now, that's big. I talked to the maid just now. She said me that she has been employed hard labor. What's keeping her here? Ha 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 ha. What the what fuck? She told you? Everybody in home knows she gets into Bradley's pants. What does that have to do? Rose, what is wrong with you? Doesn't help me in my investigation at all. I don't know about that, some dude. Maybe. And I did. I heard it snow. It was really fucking awesome. I need to go. Thank you so much, Rose. I'll turn this light on for you. You are a real valuable asset to my investigation. Oh, diary. Do you admit to the murder? Can I read it? This feels like it could be pertinent. I don't think this has anything to do with the murder. What do I know? You're right. Stupid idea. Is your sub Neo? That's what I think too, Venom. Oh, this is Bradley's room. That weirdo. I can't interact with anything yet. God, he's got so many notes in there. Okay. So many drawers! Thanks, membership Bizarro, and the gift sub Plunk, and the resub Zylorix. Okay, I got an item. The lighter might come in handy. No idea, Gabe. Never heard of that one, Ben. Thanks, resub Jehovah. I'm just going through Steam new releases. It's all for this side of the mansion. A chess game that was never finished. I don't think anything will come out of this. What does that say? Slut? It does. Why would you m Oh, stuff! It says stuff. Let's go in the attic. Maybe the murderer's hiding up here. Hey, congrats on the dream job, Tristan. I'm happy to hear that. I don't think anything will come out of this. I can't... The antique collection. Marker. Okay, so I think the things that are useful will be highlighted in blue. Okay, that lamp will be useful. History of the world. Seems like an awfully small book to be capturing so much history. I did not mean to go down. Please don't. Go back up, go back up. Okay. Thanks to the tier one, Thomas. Here we go, diary, Rose's diary. She expressed intense hatred for her family and vows to kill them at the first opportunity. That seems pretty cut and dry then who's our most likely subject here for the murderer. Well, thank you so much for watching for so long, Sosa. I appreciate that.
I'm gonna go ask Rose about that. I feel like I've just made a huge breakthrough in my case. Hello, Rose. You said you were on good terms with your parents. Huh? Why are you lying to me? What n what is all this about now? You're not fooling me with that poker face, Rose. Um, I have found a diary within Attic. There is your name with huge letters on it. You have mentioned how much you hate your parents. Are you kidding me? Oh, ooh, well, yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, I could have written that. What's that got to do with this situation? There is someone that is dead here from murder, and you vowed to kill them at the first chance you got. It seems like it should be pretty obvious why that would be relevant to the, to the matter at hand, Rose. I'm dealing with a lobotomite. What in the world? I will deal with you later. I couldn't learn anything from her. There must be someone who knows that for sure. I didn't really press her very hard. <laughs> she didn't even give me a good excuse. She's just like, yeah, no, I did write that. And and so what? What, you want to fight about it? What are you going to do, pussy? Yeah, I wrote it. Yeah, I want to kill them. So what? She's good. She She's good. I'm stumped. Ah, uh, the old bathroom here. What am I going to learn from this? Nothing extraordinary. Well, I've learned I'm a vampire. Other than that, nothing useful. And who might you be? Amy Bennett, eh? Ooh, I really hope you feel better soon, Jackson. Stay strong. I, Amy Bennett. Thanks, your subdavo. Welcome, detective. Wow, I have a lot to ask her. Um, I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks a lot. Yep. Where were you at the time of incident? I was sleeping in my bedroom. Okay. Very matter of fact. Do you get along with your children? First of all, I just want you to know that I am a mother. Just as a mother is to her children, I am to them. What? <laughs> what does that mean? Well, okay. Well, thank you, Amy. I appreciate that. Fucking sage wisdom. So are you on good terms? What's all that speaking mean? That's whatever you want to understand. Each family has a trouble, but these troubles are being resolved somehow. Am I right, detective? I'm starting to think this wasn't a murder. I think her husband killed himself. Having to deal with this daily. Insufferable. What? What are you saying, Amy? Why are you speaking in riddles? Alright. Do you get along with your employees? Don't get me wrong, but both of them are my employees. It's out of a question that we are on the outs as long as they work nicely. <laughs> Have you ever argued with them recently? No, but I heard that Richard highly charged argued with James. I suspect of him as hell. I don't know. Here <laughs> I am so confused, detective. <laughs> where is this where is this dialogue coming from? I don't think AI could produce something so wonky. And I'm not sure, Ramirez. I'd have to really think about it. Thanks, the resub. Gringy. What are you? I wonder about what. <laughs> yeah. They, we, we hired the worst detective for this case. We didn't really want to get it solved. So we just sent our stupidest man out there. Um, where did your husband go for business trip? I don't know. Fuck his business trip. We already had a quarrel before he went. Well then, interesting hostility. Um, what was the reason of quarrel? Do you expect a reason from an alcoholic? Okay, that's the first coherent thing she said. 
When Rose argues with you, she always Thanks membership, you. Vin. There must be a reason of this threat. Her fucking badass boyfriend changed her into money grubbing. Her father <laughs> wasn't giving money to her by reason of that bastard. <laughs> okay. Where's this badass boyfriend? Is he gonna like scoot in sideways on a motorcycle or something and profess to being or confess to being the killer? This guy sounds amazing. I need to go. All right, what else we got over in this side of the house? Thomas's room. He's a pervert. This pallet may belong to Thomas, found in Thomas's room. You don't say. You don't fucking say, I'm taking it from his room. Obviously. <laughs> hey, you're not wrong, Doomed. Oh, a cowboy hat. Cool. Thanks, Resub Sinchi. Who's in here? Parents' bedroom. Cool shoe. Ah, high heeled shoes. Why am I taking these? What kind of evidence could this possibly be? I'm just stealing her shoes. I'm just robbing them. I'm actually just robbing them. I'm stealing her expensive shoes and her pearl necklace. How does this help me? And a condom. Perfect, I can eat this later. A, a, a good snack for the road, I guess. What? It is so weird, the things that you can pick up for evidence and the things you can't. I, may I have, okay, expensive bag. Yep, that's mine, yoink. Okay, now I stole the whole jewelry box of bracelets, necklaces, rings, and other jewels. Mine now. It's my fee for solving this murder. Mm. Where is Thomas? So this is where the husband was killed. <clears throat> I feel like it'd be helpful to go around and see the chalk outline and interact with it, but... I don't know if I can. I need to go. Let me pull up my inventory. Maybe I can interact with the shit in here. This, these two things have like stars on them. Okay. Oh, you might be onto something, Zeem. Let me try talking to Rose again, I guess. Maybe I have new dialogue. Yeah. It seems your family doesn't give you enough money. Do you Thanks, membership, Dan. Your boyfriend? You have your finger on the pulse. Um, yes, I, I'm not an idiot. I'll love him no matter what. Okay. That didn't that didn't help me at all. Use the condom to rose. I don't think I can. I can't like actually interact with things. They're just in my inventory. I think it's only there for like dialogue options. So like I'll eventually be able to ask someone about the condom, I guess. Hey Grant. Oh, Thomas might be out here.
Yeah, I also need to go talk to the maid again because she's fucking the brother. Thomas! You must be Thomas. Um, where were you at the time of incident? Not know. You don't know where you were. Marking with me is not the time. Your father is dead, you know? Yes, but he's not the only one died. <laughs> Awfully suspicious. Okay, he hit us with an evil laugh. A mwahaha. Who else is dead? Um, what? What do you mean? That's what I exactly said. Who else is dead? Can I ask that question? Why can't I ask that question? Detective Nathan, he said he's not the only one that died. Can we inquire as to who else and why he's celebrating this? Did the death of your father not get you down? Yeah, I, I have no one I can sleep together anymore. What? What the fuck? What does that mean? You and your father were sleeping together? What is happening? What is happening? It sounds like it's a good thing he's dead. This boy is not normal as hell. You don't say. Uh, what's your age? <laughs> Doctors say my brain age is seven. Okay, interesting. Thank you so much for all the information. Um, where we Not know. Okay. Okay. I, I can't believe I can't ask who the other dead person is. I, I am actually stunned. Uh oh. Gunshots. Was it you? Who are you? Richard Barton. Um. Gardener Richard. Yes, welcome. <laughs> He's an android. How long have you been working here? Oh, about a 16 years, sir. Hmm. Did you get along with James? Sir, he was a very good friend of me, above all. We got along well. Um, did he have any enemies you hear about? As far as I know, he didn't have any enemies, sir. Besides, he was introverted and didn't talk much about these matters. <coughs> did he tell you anything important before he went on his trip? No, sir. Okay. Okay. Where were you at the time of incident? Outbuilding. I was in outbuilding, sir. That night I couldn't fell asleep. I heard a voice from the front. This guy's got a lot to say. That belonged to the professor. He must have been angry about something again. Because I heard him entering, swearing once more. I didn't care about as his usual self. Now that you were awake... Did you not see the murderer? Unfortunately, yes, sir, I saw nothing. Damn. <laughs> it strikes me that Guy is a suspicious character. This guy is the least suspicious one so far. <laughs> okay. Well then, he was too normal. I talked to Mrs. Bennett. She heard that you argued loudly with the professor. She's lying, sir. I never argued with James. I would like you to ask her this question as well. Hmm. Wait, what? Is Mrs. Bennett lying to me? Sir, you shouldn't believe anything said in this house. Oh, shit. I didn't even consider someone could lie. Who is honest? Who, who is a liar? It's very hard to tell. I can't trust anyone. That's the whole point of being a detective. He's, like, stunned that this happened. Why weren't they honest with me? I feel so betrayed. Uh, 
Thanks for the five gifted members, Joe. Appreciate that. A shovel! Used for digging soil and planting and garden work. Just what I needed. I'm sure this will be helpful. All this evidence I'm collecting. Oh, a box of tissues! Yes! Put it in the collection log. A nudie magazine! Yes, the erotic magazine. This one's not even for the investigation. This one's just for me. Richard must be satisfying himself in this way. And he's not the only one. Let me ask him about it. Um, did you grow up in the orphanage? Yes, sir. I grew up as an orphan. Not everyone is born as lucky as the Bennett family. Why do you think that? Why do I think what? That, why, why, why do you think he grew up as an orphan? His parents left him. I don't know. Why, uh, why do you think that? Sir, I feel sad whenever I think about it. No one appreciated the deceased enough, especially his children. These are you sub super. I see. Cool. I need to go. Good conversation. All right. I think we're on the cusp of something huge here. Two graves. Here's a membership check. Can I talk to you again, Thomas, after what I've just learned in there? Nope. I need to go. Just walk up to him just to tell him I need to go. That'll confuse him. Break his psyche. I appreciate the raid. Sorry, I just saw that. Hmm. So he was killed here. He must have been shot from the top of the stairs. Okay, so he's killed via gunshot. All right. That's good to know. Not that it matters in this household, because everyone's been hit by the Orb of Confusion, but... Perhaps it'll be relevant at some point. Now that you are employed hard labor, why don't you find in another job then? Because we live in a small village. There is no another job, sir. If so, you find in another job. There is not something keeping you here, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what an interrogation. If hard labor, why not new job? Why are you lying to me? I just learned you are in relationship with Bradley. I don't know where you learned this, but I didn't mean to perturb you. Sorry, sir. You didn't deny it. Are you in a relationship or not? Do not lie to me again, or you will become suspect. Yes, sir. I'm so sorry. Then just tell me. Oh, my God. So are you, or are you not fucking... Fucking the, the brother. True, Zach. Alicia has suspicious behaviors. Better to take a look to her room. Agreed. I'll go check her room. Instead of just asking her more questions and actually pressing her on these things. I can't ask Bradley anything new after everything I just- I can't ask him if he's having a relationship with Alicia. That's a one-way street, I can't- okay. I need- Thanks, Kiwi. Alright. Where's Alicia's room? Did I search over here? I can't recall. I did not. Wait. I did. No, no, I did not. So far, all of the items that I can pick up have been entirely useless. Here we go, Alicia's room.
Maybe she was going to try and run away with Bradley after killing the father. Perhaps that was the plan. A pearl necklace again! I now have two pearl necklaces. How that helps me, I have no fucking clue. Thanks, Resub Pip. Okay, there's nothing else in here besides that pearl necklace. <laughs> Amazing. Let's see if I can talk to her about that pearl necklace. have gotten nothing out of any of this except for Rose, who in her diary said she would kill the family first chance she got. And yet that's not suspicious to Detective Nathan. I feel like I've explored everywhere inside and outside. Let me go out the front again. Was he living alone in this huge mansion? The entire family is in the house. He even employs maid and gardener. Okay. Funny. Oh, that's right, that's right. I need to talk to the mother again. At least a membership cattle. Because the gardener said that she's a, a liar. He's Reese Doob. And yeah, I've heard of that before, Flea. Okay. Nothing new there. I need to. <clears throat> I have to. I have to wonder, what is the point in all of these items if I can't do anything with them? Like, why am I picking up condoms and pearl necklaces? Thanks, Resub. Kuba. This statement confuses me, too. Some hidden dialogues can be activated after dialogues. Remember, there will be shown an image short time if you activate. But, I don't... How, how, how do I activate? Where were you at the time of incident? I was sleeping secret, in my bedroom. Secret? No. Um... Where did your husband go? Yeah, it is kind of like vaudeville. I don't know. Fuck his business trip. We already had a quarrel. Um, what was the reason of quarrel? Do you expect a reason from an alcoholic? I, need I to don't. Go. I don't understand. I don't. I don't get it. I don't. <laughs> Things are resub Koguma. Check the key binds. There's only two keys. But here. Oh, yeah, there are no actual key binds. But the only ones are F. Oh, here it is key bindings. Back from item. Yeah, that's after I pick something up. Murder menu. Well, that doesn't work at all. That's just not in the game. Things you some mobster in maze.
I like the Rose Bennett cliff notes. Threatens her family, family when she argues. Has a badass boyfriend. Has a diary that contains her unhappiness and hate about his father. Continuously asks her family for money because of being money grubbing. <laughs> okay. I have no information about Bradley somehow. Let me see your boy. And I can't talk to him any further, even with all of these items I have. I... He's a rock. Press M on a suspect. Let me try it in a conversation. No, it just doesn't work. To... Alright, let's... I mean, I think it's Rose. I can say with a high level of confidence, it's probably Rose. I was seeing if maybe I could interact with this car in any way. Alright, how do I put together my guess? here. Alright, I'm, I'm ready to piece this puzzle together here, officer. I need Straight back to the Thomas. I didn't really collect anything out here, so maybe I did miss something. Is you sub Darth? Of golden. Appreciate it, Golden. There is an item out here? Where, though? Unless it's in the shed. I don't think I missed anything, like, in the actual backyard. Let me do some freeze. Thanks, user. And yeah, I'm super down. And then I'll check in here again. What, what item did I miss? Hydra. You said I missed something in the backyard. Jesus, he's even got lotion here. Things are so cheap. I really don't think I missed anything out here. I need to read some hood and con brew. Ooh. 
Hey, congrats, Joe. Hope it goes well. Plant in the gardener's room? If it's something I can actually pick up or interact with, it'll be blue or yellow outline. Anything red I can't interact with, but let me see what you're talking about. What plant? Oh, over here. These. Uh. Is that a gun? It is! Okay, this has to be useful. I found a gun. This man was murdered by a gun. Okay. What's that rusty gun doing here? Is this gun licensed? No, sir. It has no license. And yes, I own this gun. Okay. Thank you for being honest, Richard. I will report this to the sheriff. You know this is a crime, don't you? Sir, this gun is out of function. In what way? Things we should try. And maybe at some point random. I don't care. I will deal with this later. I need to go. Okay. So we found what is likely the murder weapon. Now we just need to find who used it. I'm going to assume it's not Richard. He was awfully nonchalant about that. Was it you, Thomas? Can't even ask you about the gun. You don't know what that is. The text wall said it was so rusty it was non-functional. Oh, fuck, I didn't even read that. Alright, maybe the sheriff here will give me some insight. A whole new world will open up. Sheriff, I found a rusty gun in the annex. The gun belongs to Richard. Does it have a license? No. Actually, I came to you for this matter. You need to take the statement down about that matter. I'll handle it, Detective. Thanks, Sheriff. I need to go. Side quest complete. That got me nowhere. That got me nowhere. Nothing. What the fuck? Where do I go to guess? How do I guess? Because the murder menu doesn't work, so that's clearly not it. I I'm ready to just lock in rows. Try rebinding the murder menu. I can't imagine that working, but sure. I'll put it to L. Nope. We keep hearing about this badass boyfriend too and haven't found him. Can I inspect the gun for fingerprints? No, of course I can't. I can't interact with anything. Oh shit. I need to Maybe maybe back in the attic. Maybe I missed something in the attic. True, Zach. I 
don't think I missed anything here. Let me see some Joaquin. Uh, I appreciate it, Era. And I don't know, I don't really play Minecraft. That sounds great, Verb. I'd be down. Things are you, sub captain. I stole everything from the parents' bedroom, so I don't think there's anything left here. Go back to the old dude. He's a prime TVG. Alright, I don't think anything's gonna happen to the old guy yet. You skip Bradley's room. I didn't. There was just nothing in Bradley's room. That was the problem. That's Thomas. <coughs> this is parents. Bradley's room is the first one on the right, and there's nothing there. Er, no, this is Rose. Bradley's this one. And there's nothing here. Wait, there is something. It's a knife! Oh my god, we found something. Please progress it. So when do I get to make my guess? Do I have to do everything and then guess? I picked up a knife in his room! Why can't I talk to him about it? What is the point? I need to go. I need uh, What am I missing? What am I missing? I want to I want to I want to make my guess. And no, I've never heard of the lady in the leotard. Still no information about Bradley somehow. in the bathroom maybe doesn't look like it you forgot to pick up the CD by the knife I couldn't it wasn't highlighted let's read some one 90% certain the mansion map is directly flipped and retextured from another game called Ayuwaki. Well, yeah, it's definitely an asset. Yeah, I can't pick up the CD. There's gotta be a way. There's gotta be a way. How do I just make my guess? Uh, 
Check the knife. I can't. You must be new here. I can't do anything with these. Things are resub mid sized. Uh, maybe I can talk to you again about the knife. Nope. I need. Okay, I did find something new here to maybe talk to Thomas about. That's big. Maybe that'll start this cascade. Thomas will be like, yeah, there's two graves because the badass boyfriend's dead. And then I can talk to Rose, tell her the badass boyfriend's dead. And then she'll give me info and then it'll just be like this non-stop progression. And it all starts now. Come on, baby. Please, Thomas. Please, Thomas. Please. Yes? Did you draw this, uh, picture? Why are you messing around with my pictures? What did you try to tell here? What the hell are these graves? Damn it. Leave the picture out where I don't want you to look at it. Too late, I've seen it. Now talk about it. Okay, or not. Oh, God, he must be fucking around with me. I wonder if he's hiding from me. What, what's the connection of this backyard? What are you talking about, Nathan? Huh? I... Okay, maybe now I can interact with the graves over here, though. If you go to the top left of the stairs, you'll find a door that progresses the story. Did I miss an entire st an entire door somewhere? Okay, let me see if you're right. So stairs, top left. Wait, this is, it's just that side of the house. What are you talking about? I thought there was like a secret door somewhere here at like the very top of the stairs. These are just the two sides that we've already been through. Let me see some twisted. Tier one. One. I don't think that'd be conflicting at all, Axel. Go for it. Anything else in Bradley's room, potentially? I already went through all those drawers. Things of membership. Juana. I'm gonna have a conniption. I want to beat this! I do- there's- I- there's no way I've missed any collectibles. I've just- I've robbed them blind. This just says, kill, kill, two graves- is it supposed to be a map? Cause that's a terrible map. Talk to the old guy now. Oh, wait, good point. Wait, you're right, you're right. I should try talking to the old guy now, Richard. If I could use some of these items, I feel like we'd get much further. No. Oh my god. Thanks, membership, Grace. I need to go. 
Thanks for some Benny. Well, I already know where the graves are, but I can't interact with them or anything around them. They're right there. But I can't do anything. There's nothing I can do. Show the picture to the sheriff. Hmm. I can try. I can certainly try. Nope. Sheriff wants nothing to do with it. Whose room was over here again? It was guest room, and what was the other one? Let me check these again, I guess. That bottom left of the stairs door is there. You mean this entire wing of the house we've already been to as well? Okay, I found a joint. Okay. That's good, that's good. This is the bathroom, but I'll check it anyway. Is it tier one Linden? And then whose room was this one again? Alicia. And she had actually nothing in here. Which is peculiar. The fact that there is nothing in Alicia's room is very suspicious. Is there some D-Rod? <gasps> Glasses. I don't know why that would be suspicious, but we've got them. Okay, we found one item here. That's good. That's good. Bro, bottom left. What do you keep saying, bottom left? There's four places in this area, in this mansion. There's that, 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 oh, and then the backyard. This is bottom left of the stairs, brother. Thanks for some golden. Under the wardrobe. There's a paper under the wardrobe. Which wardrobe? Oh, right here. Nice. A letter written by Bradley with expressions of love and fantasy. That's gotta be a big one. That's gotta be a big one. Let's resub Tygo. Have you heard of the survival? Yeah, oh yeah, the Curzy Carly Dog Horror Game. It's on Dreams though, so it's not like a standalone game or anything. I'm seeing secrets that we weren't meant to experience. Okay. This has to unlock new dialogue. Your other left if you're facing the stairs. What in the fuck are you talking about? This is just the area with Bradley and Alicia. The first area we ever went. It's not a door. 
It's just an area that we're very Thomas. familiar with. Seems like he has incoherent. What do you areas. mean? I've also found this drawing in his room. What the hell's that? Yes, he's not normal exactly, sir. He was diagnosed with schizophrenia. Oh, that's so sad. Ago. In fact, he hospitalized long time in mental institution. Okay, thanks. I need to go. That's worthless. Worthless. Finally, found something for him. I have found drugs in guest bedroom. Whose are these? Do you hit up? Oh, matey, chill out. Just hitting up. <laughs> what do you mean, I know you lie? He's being very honest with me. He's hitting up. I know you lie. <laughs> Good luck, old boy. Thanks, Bradley. That went nowhere. I won't learn anything from him. Better to go and search his room. Detective. We've done that four fucking times. It's how we even got this far in the first place by finding his drugs. And a knife. We we found a knife. We have a knife from his room, but we don't want to ask him about that for some reason. Back to Bradley's room, I guess. Nothing but dead end after dead end. Maybe there's a new item here I can interact with now, after all that. Nope. Nothing there. Nothing there. Go talk to the old guy. About what? I didn't get anything new. What? Drugs? I just go talk to him about drugs? Yeah, vaudeville is fun. How in the world? Okay. Back to the picture. We talk about this fucking picture. Don't you see? I'm playing in backyard with my friend. You see? Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Thomas. Well, what the hell are these two graves? My mom said me to tell nobody about it. Okay, we're finally getting somewhere. Yes. Damn it! I won't be able to learn anything from this fool. It would be better if I go ask someone else. Excuse me, Alex. So now I need to talk to the mom. Let me talk to the old guy. Yes. Richard, what does this picture that Thomas drew mean to you? <laughs> Sir, I think you realize that Thomas is mentally unstable. The graves in the picture must be the animals that he buried to the backyard. Okay, they're animals, huh? The animals that he buried? That's true, sir. Recently, I saw he also buried the family's third pet next to that tree. We're finally starting to get killing and to, and on, the, on the, the path. Pet. This kid is more cutthroat than I thought. Hmm. <clears throat> I think it's respectful, at least. <clears throat> Anything else? No. Okay. I need to go. Right, back to the graves. Can I interact with something over here now? So this was the first grave. These are the two graves. Nope. Oh, now I can. Yes. Yes! Yes! So you have to find every single collectible before you can progress the story. What the hell is this? Is there we go. Gun? It is. I see it. Pick it up. Pick it up. Nice. All right, now the murder menu is unlocked. Okay. 
Now we can start grilling them, I imagine. We found the murder weapon. Richard, I found a suppressed... Are you kidding me, Richard? I can't talk to you about this? We got James Bond on the premises assassinating people with a suppressed Glock? And you don't want to speak about it? Thomas, what about you? You ever play the Hitman games? Okay, here we go. I found a handgun in the place where you buried the pets. Did you put this handgun into there? No, no! Have you ever used this damn handgun before? My, my brother never lets me use this handgun. He says he needs it. Okay, that's convincing. <laughs> what does he need this gun for? He said me that he hunts the bad guys outdoors. <laughs> mm, thank you, Thomas. I appreciate the honesty. Fucking asshole. Oh, okay. Perhaps you shot the pets with this handgun. <laughs> that's not even... That's that's a side quest. That's not the case we're looking to crack, Nathan. We've got bigger fish to fry right now about who killed the father. I think if we can find the killer of the dad, we will have also found the killer of the pets. He's a big tier 2 jammer. All right, Alicia, you won't believe what I found outside. I, I can't. I'm stunned. You don't. Okay, you don't want to talk about it. So you hunt bad guys, huh? So, you hunt the bad guys, huh? The bad guys, matey. What are you on? I talked to Thomas. Stop denying it. I know you hear of the handgun. Hey, stop. I can explain this to you. I need to protect myself when I deal. You know? He's a drug dealer, gotcha. Are you looking for someone to ask this question? Go ask Rose this question as well. I think I just might. I need to go. All right. It's all coming together. Thanks the membership tech. I swear, it better not be Rose. If it's Rose, I'm just going to be so upset because she literally admits to it in the first clue you find. I found a handgun in your garden. I think you have heard of that handgun. What? Who said you that? It must be that fool Bradley. <coughs> Don't you understand what he's up to? He is trying to fling mud to me. Stupid. Hmm. Very. She's good. She's good. Uh, I... Yep, she's good. Things are so whoop. Now we talk to the mom. And then it'll all make sense. I found a handgun amongst grass in the backyard. Is there a someone who has a handgun in this house? Only that foolish gardener has anything to do with that handgun or rifle in this house. God, I'm so tired of going back and forth. Hmm, Mr. Richard, now I can cross-examine him. Oh, now I can. Now. Th that That's what I needed right there? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Things the membership heavy. The Punisher did it. This is a crack mansion. It, anything's possible. Oh, no problem at all, Ezra. I hope everything went well. Thank you for that. And thank you, Michael. Hey, and congratulations, Nathan. I appreciate it. I'm gonna ask you something very important. Is there... Is there someone who has a gun in this house? Hmm. Did you find something, sir? I found a branded Glock. I found a branded Gluck handgun in the place where Thomas buried the dead animal. Sir, hmm. I had given that handgun as a gift to the professor. Was the murder committed with this handgun? What do you mean you don't know? Yes. I don't know. It was. James was keeping that handgun in the lock safe in his room. Who took that damn handgun out of the safe? It must have been someone who knew the combination. Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> All right. The mom mentioned that he has a rifle somewhere. Where's that? Where's your rifle? You keep it in your drawers. Anything new from you? No. Talk to the sheriff for the ballistic report. This sheriff is fucking brain dead. He doesn't even know what the word ballistics mean. Oh, but he knows drugs. I have found the drugs at home. What the fuck is your evidence response team doing? <laughs> the team is a bit of beginner. They have been appointed to the district recently. What the hell do you think you are telling? I want you to take the statement down for this team right now. Hmm. All right. I'll handle it. Cool. I need to go. Talking to this guy gets me nowhere. He's worthless. Absolutely worthless. Okay. So the only one that knew the combination most likely is uh, her. And not yet, Kakoda, because it's not, or Zuda, it's not ready yet. Can't talk to her about it. And yeah, I'll probably play it, Rogue. Knowing this game, it's probably the Sheriff for no reason. That's kind of what I'm thinking, too. Thanks for your sub repo. This is the last person I can interact with. You've got to tell me something, Bradley. Otherwise, I'm dead end again. I'm dead end again. Oh. Go to the safe. Do you think I can interact with the safe now? Let me see. That would be pretty cool, Zeeb. Oh, yeah, I can interact with the safe now. Interesting. A letters with initials A and J containing explicit sexual content. <laughs> All right. Amy, you've got some explaining to do. Age 70, but fountain works. What does that mean? What is the, what am I saying? <laughs> Age 70, but fountain works, huh? What do you mean? That's what I'm saying, Amy. Is, is it his way of saying you're old, but can squirt? Is that what it is? That is foul. Huh. I talk about the letter in the case, you know. Mm hmm. Detective, we are married, you know? What? What the fuck? This is so... This is so useless. We're not pressing on anything. How am I supposed to solve the mystery? Uh... I need to go. This is fucking ridiculous. Alright, maybe Alicia. Please, God, give me something. Shit! Damn! Am I the biggest loser on the beach? 
What else? Well, now that I can start interacting with shit, or new shit, maybe now I'll find something in these rooms again. I don't know. Talk to James. What do you mean, talk to James? He's the dead guy! <laughs> He's fucking dead! James is the victim! What? Talk to him via what? Ouija board? I need to. God damn it! <laughs> this sucks. Uh, maybe Richard. Maybe Richard knows. I I don't know. I don't know. Thomas. Maybe Thomas knows. This this kid's got all the answers somehow. Nope. Richard, please, give me something. Damn you, Richard. I need to. Bradley's room. Okay, uh, let me check Bradley's room. Maybe he knows something. Maybe there's new evidence. Thanks to the resub. <clears throat> Max talks games. Oh, you know who I haven't talked to in a while is Rose, actually. Not that I think this will give me anything, but I will speak to her. It got me nothing. Uh, I was expected. Okay, cigarettes. We got something new here. I don't see what this does for me, but... Yep, nothing. Is it tier one tot? Well, I don't want to guess the murderer yet. It doesn't seem like I can do anything with. Who is Denise Bozkurt? John Shepard? Who are these people? Oh, this is the sheriff outside. I haven't even seen this guy. So this is the badass boyfriend. Oh, wait, you're right. The sheriff's name does start with a J. Perhaps, perhaps Amy and the sheriff were having an affair. Oh. Yeah, here's a bong. I don't see that being super useful to me right now, but we found a bong. Cool. Already searched everything else here. I don't think there's anything. Still can't pick up that CD. Okay, that's probably it. Thanks, membership, Caitlin. Maybe there's something up in the attic. No, no there's no way. Well, maybe there is. Maybe Denise Bozkurt snu snuck in here. Hiding up here. Can summon him by playing the acoustic guitar. Just plucking away at it. I don't understand what the fuck the point of the attic is. There's been nothing in here. I don't think there was a single item. Just these markers. I don't think anything will come out of this. And a tape. I don't think anything will come out of this. There's a bloody bottle here. Or I guess it could be wine. Probably wine. It just came with this asset? Yeah, true. It's a prime Rio.
Still nothing new here. Do I have any new dialogue with you, Amy? Safe room nightstand? I need... What? what? I, I was just in there. There was nothing I can interact with. Cooper, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Nothing left. Just that safe. Which we already got the item from. Wait, another new item that I can interact with. I don't see that being useful though. Another new item that I can interact with is schizophrenia medication. I don't see any of this being helpful. Let's go talk to him anyway. I need to... Comic book and pills get the cuffs. True. That would be cool, Key. Try finding that boyfriend. Where? I There's nowhere left in this fucking house. He's not here. He's away. Let me just go insult the kid again, I guess. Oh my god, I still can't. Try talking to the mirror. Interrogate yourself. <laughs> That's a good idea. Let's see if I can talk to Bradley about the bong, maybe. Nope. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go talk to the sheriff now. I think maybe th that's like the last Hail Mary option I have. <clears throat> nothing. Nothing! I need to go. What the fuck? Thanks to five gifted members, Swana. What in the world? There's nothing left! There's nowhere left! Richard? No, I don't have anything new for Richard unless he cares about comic books and pills. I already tried talking to him after pulling out the letter from the safe. Yeah, there's nothing left. I don't want to guess and get it wrong and have to fucking restart though, because I am not restarting this. No chance. I'll go talk- I'll, I'll go try and talk to Richard, but I don't see anything helpful coming from it. Nothing. I need to- It's fully a dead end. Can you re-ask the questions but with cross-examination now? Interesting question. I don't know. Let me see. I don't think so. I talked. She's lying. Wait, sir. No. It just. Who is honest? Ugh. Who is a liar? 
Thanks for your subduing. It's very hard to tell. I can't trust anyone. Boyfriend behind the door in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. Where the fuck is the kitchen? Thanks, Dreadnought. Cause I there's there's no kitchen that I can access. You know, I haven't actually looked for any evidence over in just this general area. This is the closest thing to a kitchen we have here with this dinner table. No, there's no evidence here. It's only going to be in the rooms, I think. Yeah, I don't know what this kitchen meme is. There's no kitchen in this game. He's a prime suck. All right, I, I, I'm gonna just look at the look at a guide if there is one. What's the name of this game again? Detective Nathan Macaroni or something. I think, I think it's Nathan Morgan. Okay. Full game. No way the game has a side quest. Huh? Okay, this is loading super slow. Okay, I'm just gonna look it up on my phone. It's loading really slow on my computer for some reason. This game's slowing everything down. Alright, let's see. Alicia has suspicious. Okay, I'm way ahead of this. I'm like right at the end. Okay, the, he just got the A plus J note. He's just as confused as I am. Does this guy just take a random... He just takes a random guess, doesn't he? <laughs> what does he need? Yeah, he just randomly guesses. <laughs> I don't blame him. I think it's probably... I don't know why I'm expecting this game to actually be, like, done. Yeah, I think you, I think at this point you just rip a random guess. Though it's not random, Rose literally like admits to it in her diary. He's a prime Z. Who does he choose? Let me see. I'm curious. I bet he chooses the sheriff. I bet it is the sheriff. The game was probably trying to be like really mysterious, but it's probably just the sheriff. That's also who this guy chooses. Oh wait, no. He chooses... No, he does choose the sheriff. <laughs> I, I, I guarantee it's the sheriff, actually. We're just gonna, we're gonna rip the sheriff. I'm confident that it is. This game just doesn't have like a real like, ending or writing or anything. It's all AI-generated. But I think it's John Shepard for sure. Thanks for resub to Leem.
Sheriff, where are you? I was at the scene, Detective. Now I'm on my way. I'm coming there. Pull over and let us talk when you see me. What happened? Why am I out here now? Nice membership face and the resub fanatic. Oh, it's gonna be some kind of like cinematic standoff. I never expected you to solve this case, Detective Morgan. You're the dumbest on the force. I thought I was sure to get away with this one. I can't believe it. Sheriff John, you son of a bitch. You look nervous, Sheriff. Do you do you want to say something to me? A gun has your fingerprints on it. You are under a Oh fuck. What? Oh shit. No! <gasps> Damn you, Sheriff! <laughs> what? Why did we leave the crime scene? Or the scene? We could have just waited for help. It's not like we were guilty. Were we also fucking his wife? Why did we crawl away and disappear? <laughs> Mysteries will call me when they need me. I'm going rogue. Thanks, Resub Dooza. That was interesting. Yeah, we fucking popped the Gluck off on him. Well then, what an adventure that was. <laughs> it was cool. Can you do that from the start of the game? No. I also like how they gave a special thanks to the Unreal Marketplace. That's really wholesome. Well, what a strong start to bad game night, huh? Alright. Gonna have a tough time following that one up. Let's see what else we can find. There's a tier one Mako. I saw a little bit of that Lottie, but I haven't fully looked into it yet. And thanks, Bup. And nah, I'm just going through Steam new releases for games no one's ever played, really. <coughs> I want another detective game now. Those are always so fucking fun. Things are prime innocently. What is this? 
lands of Hybe most trust for 1,000 years before our enemy measures to enter. Prepare your tr what an interesting looking experience this is. Call in twelve hundred. <clears throat> what that that looks peculiar, that's for damn sure. I don't know if I want to play that one though. Thanks for the resub Sin City Chaos in the Prime TJ. Standard boring horror walking simulator. Have I played RuneScape since Desert Treasure 2 came out? No, I've been on a hiatus a bit. Max my account and I've just been taking a break. Huh. I'll definitely get back in it though, especially once sailing comes out. I'm gonna have to 99 that so that way I can keep my account maxed. You need to play sub super liminal. Oh yeah, I know that one. Are you gonna get back into OSRS when Valamore when Valamore drops? Yeah, probably. Give me give me another good stinker like Nathan Morgan. Give me some good to follow it up with. See if we can go back to back. Yeah, I know Jack Doherty got sued. Here's hoping it, it results in him losing. A fascinating story wedding night. One is that porn? Let me see. This one this one's for me. Yeah. And there's also a video of a fish. Interesting. Doing some bad games tonight, Theo, that's why. You know, this actually looks kind of interesting. It's like part FMV, part VHS horror. This might actually be kind of fun.
I think it's FMV, right? Yeah, it's definitely not. It's like the old Area 51 arcade cabinets. Let's give that a try. That looks interesting. Thanks for resub, Dinny. Are your expectations for Deadpool and Wolverine high? Yeah, they are. They're pretty high. Can't do orc massage, brother. Why not? Because orc massage is porn. It's orc porn. What do you mean, why? Death Motel, let's ride. I am Joe Salinger, a dedicated paranormal investigator. I couldn't resist delving into the rumors circulating about ghostly sightings at Crimson Motel. The unsettling news revolves around a chilling incident from several months ago. A maniac psychopath brutally murdered two teenagers within the hotel walls. In response, the management abruptly shut down the motel, citing renovations as a cover. During the supposed renovations, a wave of eerie occurred. Okay, I thought it was on like a tight time schedule. Okay, I don't have to speed run anymore. Construction workers reported encountering apparitions, and some even suffered severe mental distress, compelling them to abandon their work at the site. Thank you for the gift subs, Goof. Appreciate that. The Enigma Shrouding Crimson Motel piqued my curiosity. It's precisely the kind of mystery I thrive on. Armed with my investigative prowess... Oh, another investigation. Yes, please, I'll piece this together. I just aced Detective... Uh... I forgot. Nathan Morgan? Yeah, Nathan Morgan. I am determined to gather concrete evidence within the hotel's haunting confines. Backed by my comprehensive computer setup in the van, I will meticulously process all the information I collect. My ultimate goal is to capture undeniable proof of these spectral entities on video camera. If I manage to record any ghostly apparitions, that would be my invaluable contribution to unraveling the secrets veiled within the Crimson Motel. Well, I'm in. Thought of the cutscene. One oh five is locked, must be the work of a ghost. Interestingly enough, my flashlight is not calibrated to be where I'm looking, it's off to the right. That's a little disorienting. <laughs> Am I okay, that's fine. Thanks for toxic. Back of the motel seems clear, going upstairs. Well, thanks for that, Dragoski. Appreciate it. Came all this way for nothing. Was there something in there? I hear someone sipping a soda. What is all this noise? Ooh, this is open. Nice! Secret note. Garrett, keep this note. I have stashed that videotape you mentioned in my briefcase, added a lock. Code 4476. I don't want to believe all this nonsense our worker friends are telling about this place is haunted, but I guess we are out of options, of, uh, out of options here. 
Why and how, I have a few theories. We can discuss, call me ASAP, we can record this all place. We can record this all place and sell the tapes to national TV shows and we can be rich. 4476. No! Where did. Where are you going? 4476. That definitely wasn't a ghost, though. It was just a man in a mask. Actually, the exact kind of person I'd expect to be at a motel like this, to be fair. Here's the resub Nash and Huel. Oh, well, that was easy. I should have come here first. Well, now I can go everywhere, I guess. Alright. Nothing in here. Okay, that one I can't do anything with yet. God, this is gonna suck if I can go into every single room and am expected to go into every single room. The fuck is that, a nail gun? It's like a Gatling nail gun. Yellow key, that's gonna be for a yellow box. Hey, glad you enjoyed it, Fireground. Power drill. Someone dropping some metal. Very quirky hammer. Green key goes to the one downstairs. Man, we're really cooking. Man, this shit is lame. Thanks for your sub, honey. They're just spamming a bunch of random noises. Also, what's this red now? Nothing. A tape! There's gonna be a scary thing soon. Now that I have a tape. Hope you're ready to squeal. I don't have a red key. Oh wait. This is 447. Six. I'm a genius! Another tape. It's the scary guy again! That sick bastard. He's just walking around. Mm. 
What is this? Oh, wait, this is my van. Let me try playing my tapes. Uh, that just looked like somebody going outside and shuffling, wearing a cloak. Why would that be evidence? That's just a woman with blonde hair in a window. Why is that evidence? Oh, I was re- I, I watched what you sent, Project. Yeah, I was going through that a little bit. I haven't finished everything, but yeah, that shit is awful. At least based on what I saw from the little bit that I was able to tune into. I'm sorry to hear that dark box. It'll get easier. Thanks, Recipe Boy. What do you think about the trend of fake breast eating on Instagram? What in the world does that mean? What is fake breast eating? What is that trend? I have no idea, Victor. Breastfeeding with a fake child. What? Wait, what? Thanks, there's some health spawn. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Dan. Like I said, it'll get easier, though. So they use dolls to show their tits to breastfeed the doll. So it's like a loophole? It's all over Instagram. It's rampant. Rampant. Hold on just a second. Let me take a peek. What the fuck? What's it called? How can, give me give me an example of someone doing it. Like who's the most recent one? <coughs> yeah, don't just search fake boob eating. That's almost exactly what I searched and got no re results, which is why I need a little help. Thanks a tier one keto. Apparently it's called milk feeding. Milk maxing, maybe? Oh yeah, it is called milk feeding. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Yeah, well, okay, yep, you're right. Things a membership Athia. That is peculiar. Thanks some membership, Sparta. Oh shit! It's the ring tape! You're gonna come in seven days. Can I pop that puppy out?
Not a whole lot downstairs. I need the red key. Wherever that is. I'm getting real tired of opening every drawer here, I'll tell you that much. Come on. Here's the gifted member math. Another TV. It's my favorite show. Can I pop that VHS tape out? Nope. Thanks in the window. Oh, it's in there. And no, I did not see that earlier. Thanks, Reese Awards. Somebody sipping a soda very loudly. Another TV. Thanks, membership, Dan. What does it all mean? Alright, that's everything in all the rooms. I don't think I missed anything. Thanks, a prime experiment. And thanks, Durgaski. I still need three pieces of evidence. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? On the other side, I think I missed a couple of doors when I first got the master key. Oh, that's gonna be such a fucking headache. I'm pretty sure I missed them on ground floor, so... That should be alright, though. Should be pretty quick. This was the one that started it. I definitely missed this one. But there's nothing here. Thanks, Risa Blurch. I'm missing a key card. This is where the green one goes, but I'm still missing one. No, I'm just going through Steam new releases. Thanks, I guess, sub DJ. Two more pieces of evidence is all I require. And I know I'm missing a red key, but I don't know where I'm missing it from. 
I missed the door upstairs, did I? Not there. Yeah, because that's the one I opened with the code. I wish the doors would stay open. Not there. Not there. Hey, congrats on the first setup, Jets. Hope you're enjoying it. I don't know what door I'm missing. That's definitely all of them. Let's go downstairs. Someone's knocking on a dumpster. The room with the TV has the red key. I do not, Dursky. Er, Durgaski. You sure it's one of the rooms with the TV? Also, where's all the TV rooms at? Here's one. <coughs> Not here. I think there are three TV rooms. Here's another, and there should be one more. Thanks, Crit. And I know, today was the anniversary of Pete Weber's Who Do You Think You Are, I Am. I'm wishing you the absolute best slow dance. Please stay strong. Godspeed, I hope everything's alright and gets better. Yeah, there's no red key here. I still need two pieces of evidence. God damn it. You again. Thanks for five gift subs, Alki. Oh. Uh, uh, this is pretty fucking lame. I've definitely gone through every room now. Maybe there's something more in here. No. Not that I see. Oh god, this is making me tired. It's so boring. Holy shit. Oh sweet. Thanks, Math. Oh, 
We've come this far, I want to finish it. I just... I don't know where these last two pieces of evidence could be, I've gone through every room. There's no rooms I've missed. Things are resub pent. Oh wait, what? Did I miss this room? I did, but there's nothing here. Damn! Oh no, the drawers are just closing now for some reason. Here's a prime spell. First TV room, first door. Like the first one I was just at. It's like the one over here. There's nothing there. Or there. Or there. Let me go to one of the other TV rooms. Nothing. I have no idea, Adam, but good luck. I hope it goes well. Nothing in the TV rooms. It's actually making my hand cramp up. There's a tier one DJP in the tier one skin. Check the office. I just went back to the office. There's nothing there. No, it's the other way. I hear someone moving around, though. It's in some car. Some car. The only car here is mine. Yeah, it's the only car. Oh. God, I want to finish it, but it also is so fucking boring. In every room with a tool, there's something you can use it for. The hammer can break a tile. The sawzall can cut a hole in the wall. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, you can't pick it up. Uh... Why do you want to finish it so bad? I don't know. I hate starting these dog shit games, getting right at the end and then not finishing it. Feels weak. But man, this super sucks. It's so boring. Like, it's just, there's nothing I missed. So I don't know what the fuck else you're supposed to do. No, Dune 2 is not out yet. It comes out in two days. I'm excited, though.
Does anyone know what I need? Two more pieces of evidence, please. Maybe it's outside? Maybe. Who, big guy? Matthew Broderick's son. Who's his son? But no, that's fine. The suitcase cart? Huh? I've opened up every suitcase. Maybe hoard, hoard the chairs? Remember when Matthew Broderick killed someone? That's the main thing I remember him for, actually, yeah. Have you tried opening the ice container under the stairs? Ice container? You just making shit up? Ice can- where was that? No. Doesn't work. Good idea, though. <laughs> for real win? Oh, for Matthew Broderick? It was, uh, what, like, 1997? He was drunk driving and killed someone. And then he got away with it. I've checked all of these... all of these rooms. There's something on that suitcase luggage cart in the office lobby. I don't I don't believe you, but I've got no better leads. What happened to that red suitcase I couldn't open? Where was that? I haven't been able to find that again. Thanks, Yusuf Gandalf. Thanks for the five good subs, Nikki. Appreciate it. On the suitcase on the chair, I beat this game. <laughs> I feel like you're just fucking lying. What, what, that's, that's so not specific, though. If you're talking about these suitcases, I've opened all of them. I haven't missed any. I've gone to every fucking room now, and I have not missed a single one. Thanks to the resub Vintatrix and the Prime Arabari. No, the suitcase cart. Where? Where is the suitcase cart? Thanks, Prime. Nepal. In the office, I think. Okay, I'm back in the office.
Here's the prime roach. There's there's nothing. Oh, there's some sunglasses. Oh my god, okay, wait, a company letter's huge. Please tell me that's a piece of evidence. One more piece. One more piece. <clears throat> Where? Where is it? These are some weeb. Red key left. Am I going crazy? Was there ever even a red suitcase that I could interact with? I don't know. I actually don't remember anymore. This game's making me delusional now, it's so boring. Room 207. Why are people just saying random room numbers, but alright. I'm in 207. I've been here before. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh, that's not evidence. Neither is this. There was a red one, but you opened it with 4476. Oh. Thanks, Nick. It's a custom keyboard made by Helheim Designs. They made it for Moist Esports. It was really cute, actually. It's really good, too. Just one more piece of evidence. Please, I want to be done. This shit sucks. Thanks for a long time watching, Alejo. It's super sweet. Thank you for that. Oh my god. <sighs> Just one more. This is terrible. This is fucking terrible. This is making me mad. Makes it tier one jacks. One oh one has to have something. Not evidence, damn it. Things are some cranky. And the resub lieutenant. Was I just in this one? I'm getting delirious. Fuck. Thanks, experiment.
I already went to the ice box. There was nothing. I'm 401 isn't going to fucking have anything. You're making shit up. You're spouting nonsense. Perhaps you're right, Philip. Wait, this is closed. Nope. I must have closed it at some point after opening it. Oh. Man, just let let it end. Check the dumpster. I just don't think... I really think it's going to be in here somewhere because this has a radio and nothing else has a radio. That's got to be significant. But it's just not. Back to the other side. Let's do 401 since YouTube chat really wants 401. We'll see. Even though I've been to every single one of these 20,000 times now. Oh, it's all the way on the other side. Four oh one. I'm home. That's the one I opened earlier. Yep. Who could have seen that coming? Nothing. No idea, Adam. Just weird bots. I'm going to scream. I'm gonna scream. Oh, I'm gonna fucking scream. Thanks to give some DJP. Thanks, Crit. I'm trying to find it first name. It's flaring up my acid reflux in a big way. This silly hammer does nothing for me. Same with the drill. Thanks for five gifted members, crit. Appreciate it. Oh. I already unlocked the suitcase with 4476. Open your eyes! We did that so long ago. Many, many moons have passed since then. I have 100% gone to every fucking room. Thanks, Crit. I'm not sure, Bryce. Thanks for five gifted members licked. I'm, gi I'm giving myself motion sickness playing it like this. Prime Levi. Achoo! 
God damn it. Shit. He's a prime Ronin. That's every single room. Every single goddamn room. Is the game just not finished? They forgot the last piece? Thanks, Thief. I'll check around the van, I guess. Even though I can't really see. Maybe this is a piece of evidence. Nope. Uh. Thanks the Prime Cricket. Maybe it's on one of the ceilings. I highly doubt it. I super duper doubt it. Oh. Okay, come on. Come on, baby. We got it. We, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. I can do this. I'm strong enough. I'm resilient enough. I can fucking do this. Thanks to the, res uh, the five Shane and the resub zero. I just went to room 104. Phone in 104, 105 Polaroid, 207 Note, 308 Yellow Key, 405 Green Key, 402 VHS, 401 VHS, 302 VHS. 302. That's the only one that seems that I that I can't quite recall getting a third VHS tape. But I did, clearly. That's the green one. Hold on. That guy actually had useful information, though. Okay, we're just going to go through all these... 302, I did the yellow key, I did the green key. Uh, 402 and 401, that was uh, the combination. And then the green key. Uh, 207, I don't remember. I remember the Polaroid and I remember the phone. Let me try 207. I don't remember picking up a note. Wait, yes I do, that was the scrambled note. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I got everything in all the rooms, so I'm missing something that's outside of a room. I did all of those. I got the flash drive already as well. So whatever I'm missing is not in the rooms. I got the company manifest, I got the flash drive. I don't think the game let you pick up the phone. No, it did, because I remember submitting it to my computer because he said he can crack it. So I submitted it to the computer and it cracked it. I remember. It was the iPhone. There was another thing I couldn't pick up, but it wasn't the phone. The stuff sometimes spawns evidence under the map. It might be soft locked by that. Please don't tell me that. Oh my god, if I just wasted my fucking time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna squeal. I'm gonna fucking squeal. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm gonna look this up now.
What's this called? Death Motel. Death Motel Platinum walkthrough. Easy and cheap platinum. Let's see. It's an invert option, which is definitely... Uh. Right. You can run faster by pressing the L1 button. <sighs> Man, videos are just not loading while I have the Unreal Engine up right now. It's really odd. The first step is go around the building and enter the room. VHS can soft lock if you don't walk it all the way, if you don't watch it full way. Well, I did. But the game clearly did glitch. Let's just try clicking continue. Nope. Just fuck it. I'm gonna beat this. I've come too far. I now know where everything is. Speedrun is alive and well. Oh shit, that's right, I need the master key. Okay, VHS acquired. What was the other? Give me the rooms again. Knock, knock the rooms down in the chat again. What were they? I think one of these was green thing. Yeah, this is yellow key. Four oh eight had one, if I remember right. No. Okay. 305, 402, 401, 308, 302. Green key, 401, 402. Okay, that's all the VHS tapes acquired. Now we need 104, 105, and 207. 104, 105, and 207. Five. One oh five Polaroid. Wait. Oh wait, yeah, it's on the bathtub. Then two oh seven. All right, we we should be able to beat it now. This this ending better blow me away. Let's save the VHS tapes for last. Resub mill. Seven more evidences. Wait, I'm missing one. Where's the flash drive? I forgot. Where's the flash drive?
Lobby? No, I don't think it's in the lobby. It was in one of the drawers. Was it 101? I think you're right. I think it was 101. Nice. Yeah, it was 101. Okay, now we can beat the game. If this glitches out again, I'm a fucking scream. I'm like a little piggy. Gotta make sure that we don't accidentally skip this somehow. Okay, two more evidence. One more evidence. Alright, we're good. Scare me. Oh my god, it's not over. Oh, it did scare me. We're not done. Ah, ah. God, okay. Alright. Son of a bitch, okay. Now, where are the ghosts? Oh, and I just have to wander around aimlessly again. Going room to room. Oh, I can't interact with anything, so this is good. I hear aliens. Whoa! Ah! It was worth it. Things are some smarf. No. Ah! Membership Raymond. Thanks for the tin, Durgaski. She's just sitting there menacingly. a few more Oh no. He's a prime fuse.
Hey, Rigby. Look through the windows from outside, too. I think it'd automatically pick that up if, like, it mattered. Because I'm just looking at the direction the whole time, so I'm sure it would automatically work. See what I mean? I told you. I don't need to make like a like a conscious effort to do that. All right. This is the last phase. Man, this footage is going to be hot. Prime Travis. Last one. Or not. Thanks for five gift subs, Metalhead. Did I miss one? Oh, maybe in the office. This one. I went to every single room. <clears throat> Just hop in the van. It said I need a few more. Let me see. Yep, nope, nothing. to the back of every bathroom. I did. I made a, a strong effort to do that in every room. Room 101, 103, 105. 201, 207, 308, 305, 403. 101, 103, 105. Let's do those. 103, 101, 105. Okay, so here's 101. Oh, that was the last one. There we go. Done! I've collected enough ghost footage from this horde place. I'm out of here. Oh no! No! Ah! I'm not sure if the world is ready to see the footage I've recorded here. I should release it anyway just to respect the dead. Yeah, I'm sure that's what they want. You to get some clout out of it. Their wishes. That was worth it. It all paid off in the end. Cool. Yeah. That was a that was a good one. 
That was fun. 64 minutes has never felt so long. I'll, let me tell you what. That game has some kind of time dilation effect. That felt like hours. Thanks, Durgoski. That was... Stinky. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. It made me really fucking tired. I think I'm gonna call it a night there. Oh my. We'll do another bad game night pretty soon. Thanks to the Reese of Elok. Alright, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate the generosity. Have a wonderful rest of your night, everyone. Sleep well. And see you soon. Have a good night.